Halloween's about a month away. That means haunted houses will open their doors soon for guests ready to scream. But it's not that simple. Jess Lipson stopped by a local scary place about the preparations. Jess, this is really about safety. That's right, Eric. Illinois State Fire Marshal and Illinois Department of Labor stop at all haunted houses before the attractions can operate. Measures are taken to ensure employees and the facilities make for a safe time of scares. For us, there's a little bit of excitement, but there's a little bit of stress. Um, it's, it's definitely in there, dealing with permits that need to be pulled from county and state. Haunted houses are getting ready to make people scream, but first, they need to be safe. Illinois state officials have been inspecting to make sure the spooky season is good to go. Making sure everything's taken care of so everybody can have a decent time and a fun time at that also. Um, that's where the stress comes in of just, you know, getting the background checks done that the state wants done for them, having them come out and inspect. Haunted houses in Illinois must be inspected prior to opening its doors. Some safety measures being checked are number of dead ends, decoration safety, and workers trained and prepared for emergencies. These standard inspections have been done for more than a decade. However, new rules and restrictions pop up each year. Starting next year, a change to the hiring process is expected. Previously and as of right now, it's just sex offenders. We have to pull a background, like we have to pull that sex offender list. Um, next year, we have to do a full background check. Um, and it, anybody that has a class X felony is not able to work a haunted house. Katrina Downing has been helping run Hopper's haunted house for more than 15 years. She understands the procedure process and is happy to have passed it all to welcome on the guests. We do it for fun. You know, we do it to make other people scream. We get a thrill out of hearing you scream. You could be a six foot, 300 pound man, and we are gonna laugh for hours if we hear you scream. And I think that's anybody. None of us wanna see anybody hurt. The state inspections had exceptions for charities and churches. However, they still need to meet local rules in effect. Eric? Jess, we're glad you survived that assignment. Thanks.